What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now today I am very, very lucky to be bringing you a full review of one of the cigars in one of the newest ranges to hit the UK shores. Now these cigars are simply stunning to look at and as soon as I saw that they were going to be coming over to us, I got an order in because I wanted to bring these to you guys as soon as possible. So the boxes arrived on my desk this morning. I've, I've sort of ummed and ahed about when to do the review, but it's a Friday probably be Saturday when this video goes out and I've set aside some time to really sit back and enjoy this one. So today I am enjoying the Hiram and Solomon Master Mason Toro. Now just simply looking at the bands on these cigars, they're absolutely amazing. You've got this intricate design of the Freemasons um, compass and square, and then you've just got this really nice, nice texture writing, nice little foot band denoting each individual size. So we've got four sizes available, um, four ranges at the moment, available in a few sizes. Now this is the Toro, and it's just a stunning looking Maduro wrapper there. Straight away, I'm getting little bits of spice coming through there, some cocoa, some chocolate, and a little bit of nutty notes coming in on there as well. This is a six by 52. All of the cigars in the range are a 52 ring gauge. The Robustos are a five inch and the Toros are a six. But I think I'm gonna stop talking because I wanna get into this one and talk about the other cigars in the lineup as we go along. So let's stop talking. Let's get this one cut and lit. Let's move on to the first third. I hope you'll join me. See you soon. So just cracking my way into the first third on this one. On first light and the first few puffs, this really gave me an indication of the luxury that this cigar has got going for it. Just thick, velvety smooth smoke coating my palate, coating my mouth with just these wonderful flavors of cocoa and coffee and some cinnamon notes in there as well that kind of just drifted in little baking spices which were in there as well. Now on the finish, it's got this nice sort of candied fruit peel note on there. So a little bit of freshness comes in on that finish. It's not completely overwhelmingly um, full bodied and full on. Now, as I said, we've got a few different lines of these available. In total, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven available. There is going to be an eighth added to the range very, very soon. But I'm gonna talk about these ones because I've got them here in front of me. So. As I said, enjoying the Master Mason Toro today, we've also got the Master Mason Robusto. Now these two beautiful darks, just almost chocolate bar dark uh, cigars are just stunning to look at. Like I said, that band design, and if we can pick that up on the camera there, that band design is absolutely stunning. It's intricate, but it stands out. It's not too sort of, not too fiddly and just the right amount of detail. Now with the Master Mason, I've brought them up on the screen because I do want to get the ingredient uh, blends right on these ones. So we've got a Maduro Oscuro wrapper, which is just beautifully dark, just stunning, stunning, almost black. You know, it's, it's that proper Oscuro wrapper there. A binder, we've got an Indonesian Sumatran binder. And then the fillers, we've got Jalapa, Ometepe, and Lajero Esteli. So you've got that strength of the Lajero coming in there. You've got that nice little kind of almost tang that you get from the Ometepe. And then you've got that Jalapa, that nice well-rounded Nicaraguan Jalapa wrapper. Say that 10 times quick. Now, this is smoking incredibly well. There's a little bit um, of resistance on the draw, a little bit more than I'm usually used to or I'd usually prefer, but it is starting to open up as I creep my way through. Now, talking about the other ranges, we have got this one, which is a standalone, and then you've got the Fellow Craft, and you've also got the Entered Apprentice. But I'm gonna sit back, take this one down a little bit further, then I'll talk about the other ones, I promise you. I'll let you know all about them, and hopefully in the near future, I'll have time to review all of them. There is gonna be some samplers available as well at unbelievable prices. The best prices, as you always know, will be found at Seagars Limited and Termos Tobacconists. Now these are limited in terms of um, in-store purchases, but they are available on our website. So make sure that you grab them while you can because we've got a very small allocation of them for now. But if you guys like them, I'll get them back in as soon as possible. So I'm gonna take this one down a little bit further. I hope you'll join me. So I'm creeping my way through the cigar, just about coming towards the end of the first third, uh, but we'll come back to that one shortly. So I just wanted to talk about the next in the lineup, which is the Entered Apprentice. Again, available in Robusto and Toro, 5x52 or 6x52 respectively. Now this one has got a Connecticut shade wrapper and binder, and then a Ometepe 
Pennsylvania and Paraguay fillers. So really, really unique flavors that have come through that one. You're gonna get that tang from the Connecticut, that strength coming through from the shade. And Pennsylvania and Paraguay are tobaccos that I've never experienced before. So I am definitely gonna get into this one. I'm expecting a lot of heavy cream, some white pepper in there, some cinnamon, some baking spices, and maybe a little bit of nuttiness in there as well. Now this Robusto feels incredibly well packed. It's a real heavy weight, well-constructed cigar you've definitely know that there's a lot going on in there but it's well crafted it's been put together just right now coming back to the cigar now like I said I'm just about creeping up towards the end of the first third on this one now this cigar is so complex I wasn't really expecting this level of complexity considering the price of these cigars they're unbelievably well priced I was genuinely shocked and surprised when I saw the prices we we're going to be able to do these for so I would advise grabbing one grabbing two if you can and if you can really go for maybe a few more go for that full sampler when it is live on the website I will be letting everyone know on social media now flavor wise we're still getting those chocolatey notes in there. That's still that little bit of those fruity peel notes in there as well. Some red berries, some nice little fresh red berries in there as well. But it's very, um, it's very rounded and very soothing and very kind of malty. Um, if you ever get like a, like a chocolate malt or anything like that, it's definitely got that nice thick coating of the mouth with every single puff. It's a simply stunning cigar lovely stack of white ash on there as well burn line is a little bit off but i think that's more just me rushing it a little bit but i'm going to sit back and take my time on this one a little bit further take this one down to just below the band before i come back with a little bit of an update we'll move on to the next in the line as well so there's two more to go so please stay tuned for those but this is very, very likely to become part of my daily rotation. This is a really, really nice cigar. That 52 ring gauge, even in that six inch, doesn't feel too big or too overwhelming. Doesn't feel like you're gonna need to rush it to really enjoy it. It's definitely one to add to the list if you haven't tried them already. So I hope you join me in the middle third. I'll see you in a second. So I'm just about at the halfway point on this one today and I'm gonna move on to the next cigar in the range. Now this is the Grand Architect. Now this again is a five by 52, but this feels heavy. It feels chock full. If you know, there's definitely a lot going on in this one. And in terms of ingredients, we've got a Nicaraguan Corojo um, wrapper, Nicaraguan binders, and then Paraguay, uh, Lajero Esteli and Lajero Jalapa um, fillers. So a real nice mix there again, those introduction of those Paraguay tobaccos, which I'm really looking forward to trying, seeing what those flavors um, kind of give me and having a look around online and seeing other people's reviews. You've got some really nicely aged tobacco in here as well. And it's going to offer you some sweet cedar, some leather notes, um, some cinnamon spice, and a, a little bit of citrusy notes coming in there as well. Uh, as, along with some coffee beans. So a lot, definitely a lot going on in this one. I think this is gonna be the next one that I review. Um, so stay tuned for that one in the coming days and the coming weeks. Now, let's get back to the Master Mason. Halfway through on this one and that ash, is, the burn line self-rectified itself. I've slowed things down and really sort of taken my time on this one. Now talking of taking my time, this cigar burns incredibly slowly. You are getting a lot of cigar and a lot of time for your money. In this middle third, there's been an introduction of this nice sweetness in the background and the only thing I can kind of link it to and the thing that it kind of brings back in my memory is strawberry jelly. Now that's one that I have never experienced before in my life and it's really kind of taken me by surprise. I'm still getting those nice chocolatey notes in there. It's moved into more of a medium to full, creeping more towards the full in terms of flavor wise. There's nice little, little bits of white pepper in there as well. So you've got that sweetness, you've got that strawberry jelly which I'm a bit baffled by it, but it, it works and it makes a lot of sense. The draw has eased up. Like I said, in the beginning, there was a little bit uh, more resistance than I'm usually kind of, I kind of prefer, but it has opened up and it's made it nice and easy for me today. And like I said, in terms of burning slowly, I'm about just over an hour in on this one. So this is probably gonna be an hour and a half, hour and 45, you know, if you are taking your time and you're not rushing to make a YouTube review like myself, but really 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 enjoyable so far and they're a very interesting brand the Hiram and Solomon brand are made by uh, created by two Freemasons who wanted to um, bring a cigar to the Freemason world in the Mason world that was accessible for everyone as well but also sort of stuck along the ethos of the the Masons and, and what they do so 
As part of their kind of sales, they also donate to charities, both Mason and non-Mason charities as well. So there's definitely a nice ethics behind these cigars. So definitely worth getting behind. You know, if you want to do your bit for charity, what better way to do it by purchasing cigars? I'm gonna sit back, take this one down a little bit further. There's the final range in the run-up to give to you as well, but I'm really, really enjoying this one so far. Some really interesting notes for me today, and I hope you'll join me for the final third. So the last cigar in the lineup is the Fellow Craft. Now this, again, same sizes, Robusto and Toro. Now this one is a little bit more unique. It's very similar to the Master Mason, whereas the Master Mason uses that Maduro Oscuro wrapper. This one has just got an Oscuro wrapper. Same Indonesian Sumatran binder, and then you've got Jalapa, Ometepe, and Lajero Esteli uh, fillers. So it's gonna give you very similar flavors, not as full on, um, and it's also gonna offer a little bit more in ways of creaminess. There's gonna be some leather coming in there as well, and we've also got some dried fruits and an earthy finish on this one. So very different cigars across the range. They're be offering really unique flavors um, and some really unique tobaccos included in there. There's that Paraguay, that Indonesian Sumatran binder. I'm finding myself coming more and more round to those as I'm trying more and more cigars. I quite like that more roundedness that the uh, Sumatran wrapper brings. But these cigars are really, really stunning. I've set mine down because I was going at it a little bit too quickly. So I wanted to really enjoy that final third. So I'm going to jump back in to that one. I hope you will join me for the last bit. See me in a second. So unfortunately, I'm coming towards the end of my time with this one today. I've really, really enjoyed this cigar. There's been so many changes and sort of introductions of flavors all the way throughout it that I've, I've made a note of most of them as they kind of cropped up because I just wanted to kind of give you guys a full overview of all of the flavors that um, I've experienced in this cigar. You know, you might not experience all of them yourselves, but I hope some of them will jump out to you. So we got creaminess, I got coffee, there was chocolate in there as well, shortbread, those multier notes in there, those nice little cherry that strawberry jelly that made no sense to me but just worked incredibly well in this cigar caramel coffee classic earth wood and leather notes come through as well and it's just so much going on in in a Toro cigar that you don't necessarily expect to just have so many variants of flavors and so many introductions but it's not an overwhelming mix of flavors they all work together so phenomenally well that i really want you guys to try this cigar and the entire range as well i want to know your thoughts on them and how they all compare and contrast so that sounds like something you'd like to grab today head over to the website right now it's cigars.com that's cgars.com if you've liked this video as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos and let me know in the comment section what cigar you'd like me to review next until next time i hope you're all keeping safe out there i hope the first sort of few weeks of the month have been kind to you take care of yourselves guys peace